Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a giant Dollar Tree haul for you today. And I have another couple haul sitting over there. There's so much good stuff, but I'm breaking it up because I have, you know, gotta spread things out. In my Halloween witchy cup, I've got some fresh hot coffee. And my fan's going because it's 80 degrees outside. But I'm not turning that air conditioner back on. It's not happening. So, let's see what we have. So if you saw my video last week, I actually just got back from backpacking yesterday. I am itchy all over. So I grabbed some hydrocortisone cream. I also got a Dr. Sheffield's anti-itch from bug bites and it's equivalent to benadryl and it works great so i haven't opened this one yet because that other one works but i've got bug bites everywhere it's mosquitoes so i picked that up and this is a little bit of a mishmash and i don't have any order or anything i did grab one more of these for my mantle um i don't know why all their glass products always feel weird I'll just run them through the dishwasher, but it's a, it's the faux mercury glass. So when you put a light inside, it will shine through. And I wanna put a couple tea lights or can small candles in here to, um, to have on my mantle or behind me. I'm not sure where, but I liked those. And I think I can tie some twine or ribbon or something around it, and there's Wellington, <laughs> around it to make it look more fall-like. Um, for the pets, I grabbed some of these poppers for Christmas. They don't, their best buy is 2023. So I just grabbed them for the two big dogs. Luna won't eat this type of a treat, but the two big bought, he is so ridiculous. The two big dogs will. So they'll each get a bag of these and one of those little bags of the soft treats for Christmas. So I have that. I found a tabletop mirror. I know what I've never seen this at my Dollar Tree so I'm not gonna shine it on you but you have a regular side and a reflective side and then you put this like that and it leans on your table and you have a stand-up mirror I know now I mean it's a little a little loosey-goosey but quite frankly I think it's fantastic and I'm super excited to have it because I always need a, a mirror. And I love that it's a stand-up mirror. That is so fun to me. Also could be a fun like stocking stuffer. If you have somebody, oh my nail just broke. It broke my nail. Let me get in. Oh, look what I found, guys. Now I only got one of each of these. This one says thankful. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's gold threads in here. And this is like. I don't know. I'm not going to say silver, but it's a gray with gold threads in it. I love this pillow. I mean, this um, pillow. You can make a pillow out of it, but I love this placemat. So I think I'm going to put this on my end table over here. And then for my kitchen, I got Grateful. And you got the buffalo check with the wreath. Now, these are the... Um, oh, I'm not sure. Sorry, my nail peeled tapestry that's the word i'm looking for now you need to press this out it's a little wrinkled but these are tapestry you could put a back on these you could sew them front to back and have a very lovely um thanksgiving pillow for your couch so i got thankful and grateful i didn't see blessed i'm wondering if they have blessed or not but these are going to be great for my decorating when i get ready to do thanksgiving um for christmas time i got these for my bathroom so I'm that weirdo that has decorative towels and then dry your hands towels. So these will be late. Like if I have company, I'll lay this on the, on the bathroom sink for hand drying. I'm going to wash them first and dry them. But then I hang decorative towels in my bathroom. I mean, I use them too because I use these, this downstairs bathroom. But my colors this year are red and black. And I was excited. I've never seen a black towel, I don't think, at my Dollar Tree. And these aren't terrible they are 100 percent cotton so we're gonna wash it dry it fluff it up and see if i can't make it work i mean to be honest for a dollar even if it just works through christmas time i'm okay with that and sorry if i'm too yappy 
somebody left a comment that I yap too much. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Now, sorry, caught in my mouth. I grabbed one of these. I'm not exactly sure what it does, so we're gonna see together. But it says it burns for 120 hours. I'm feeling like it's just a tea light that drops down inside of a, um, I'm just opening it. I like this one because it had the ghost. Oh yeah, so we'll take the tab off, turn it on, and it, well, there you go. Oh neat, it drops down, I know it's not dark in here, but it drops down in your, in the candle and it has a little gold ghost on it. Oh, I thought that's cute. This will actually be nice maybe on Halloween. I might put it in my bathroom and just leave it like my bathroom down here or a darker room and just leave it on all night. How fun, it's like, I thought at first it could be like a dessert glass or something, but there's a hole in the bottom to get to the tea light. And I'm wondering, I think it would just hold plastic tea light, the electric ones, not real burning. Um, I wonder if you can get replacement electric votives for down there, tea lights. I don't know. I like it though. I think it's super cute. I'll put that out on Halloween and just let it burn. Maybe on my, even in my window over here and just let it burn all night. Um, I found some seasonal snugadoos. I'll probably wear these at Christmas time. So in December, cause I do want the black and red, although I'm not going full on Buffalo check. I do like the black and red. It will match some of my pajamas that I have, but I just thought festive and then I found a pair yeah these are the black and white they also had a navy and white and I found these for Thanksgiving time so in November I'll wear, I'll wear these and in December I'll wear these I just love them these have the rubber grips on the bottom which if I go to my niece's house I'll wear these because she's got wooden floors and these do not but either way these are nice socks and these are great for one season. I, I mean, you can keep them for longer, but typically they last me a season. Um, I found, I just picked up some lens wipes. I don't use these for lenses, however. So I use these a lot for my electronics. If they're good enough for my glasses, and it also has camera and um, binoculars on here. You get 12 wipes. I love to keep these in my purse. So in the winter time, I'm forever moisturizing and then touching. And that drives me nuts. I cannot stand looking through streaked glasses. And if you haven't caught on, I do wear glasses. I mean, I put them up when I put them on when I get up and I take them off when I go to bed. I have to wear them all day. Some people I think can get away with making a video, but my vision is so poor, I wouldn't be able to see what I was showing you. Anyway, I like to put these in my purse. I usually put two or three little individual wipes and if I'm out and about or I keep them in my car. Typically in the winter, I don't keep them in my car because they could freeze, although I think they're mostly alcohol. But anyway, I keep them in my purse to clean my glasses. But they're also good for your cell phone and any like computers because we all use moisturizer. I'm uh, wondering what the ingredient is in here. Um water isopropyl alcohol proprietary detergents but it doesn't say what percentage of, of um alcohol but i know there's an ijoy brand out of tech cleaners that is 70 percent isopropyl so you're kind of getting also the um antibacterial benefit these i'm just strictly using to clean my glasses because again i can't handle it um, I did find this in navy blue. I know it's for fall, but it's gonna go out at Thanksgiving probably. It's another one of like the mercury glass, but if you see the leaves on there, when the light candle shines, so you definitely would like to put, let's see, one of these little tea lights in it. Ooh. You can then see the leaves so pretty i would get a bigger tea light for that this is kind of a small one that fits down in here perfectly um but you could also put like a real candle down in here which i may do that as well this is solid glass but i love this blue, I love this blue. and if you know me i love navy and my house there's a lot of this color in it so it'll work 
and I burn a lot of candles. Like I've got two going behind me right now. I love burning candles. So I can't wait to use that when I go back to my fall. Um, I bought one of these. Actually, I bought four of these, but. So here's what's a fun thing I did with them. Yes, you can use them as a backsplash. I will tell you, when I first got them, I didn't realize there's an actual border around it because I was gonna connect them all together, but that wouldn't work unless you cut the border off irrelevant for what I bought them for. I got some foam core board and I glued or attached one to each of the foam core boards to use as a photo backdrop. So if you see some DIYs coming up or some pictures out on Instagram, by the way, you could subscribe and be a follower. I'm much more active there in my personal life than I am here. This is my YouTube life. I just post more personal stuff on Instagram. Um, but anyway, you'll see this as a backdrop because I was looking for something neutral and I liked these uh, subway tile. I bought four because I was gonna make a big backdrop. However, um, like I said, there's a border around it. So I just I just was, took my time and stuck it to a piece of foam. Two of them, I have two backdrops, two foam core boards that will act as a photo backdrop when I'm trying to make take pictures of things for neutral. Um, another thing I found for Halloween was the little canvas bags. There's four in here. If you don't fill them with candy, you could stuff them with tissue. You could stuff them with newspaper. You could put some fiber fill in here. You could put anything you want and just tie them off and have them lay about your house and they look like little stuffed pumpkins. Um, if you do candy or little treats, if you've got some grandkids, some neighbors, whatever, you can fill these with candy, tie them up, and it's just a tiny little treat. To hand out to somebody you know like for me I, I've mentioned before I have a lot of older neighbors and then I have some with children so sometimes I just pass treats out we do not get sorry I've got something in my tooth we do not get trick-or-treaters here um, but I could fill this up with candy and take it over to the little kids in my neighborhood so this has four and the back side is blank the front side has the jack-o-lantern I really enjoy all those canvas bags I found the Ajax laundry soap. This is a 16 pack. It's made with dynamo. Put a hurt on dirt. I'm kind of nervous. So if anybody has used them, one time I used Arm and Hammer pods on my dark clothes and it faded my black pants. So I'm a little nervous. I'm a tied girl, but I wanted to try these because for a dollar, for 16 loads, like, that's fantastic. So I grabbed two to try. Um, if I start seeing, you know, negative reviews, I still have a ball. I'm working my way through a container of Tide right now. If I start seeing neg negative reviews, I'll use it on towels or something like that. But for a dollar, I mean, I figured it's worth a try. Um, so I got those, which was a fun find. Um, oh, I found these and I am on the hunt for more. This is simply a 12 inch round wood. Now it's not overly thick. If I could find more, what I will do is glue them together to give them a little more stability before I decorate. But for right now, this is all I could find. Literally at the store I found them at, there was three left. I guess I could go online and see if I could order a box of them and because if I glued them together I really only make it 12 but that's still more than I want but I am obsessed with making a round sign that you cut off and paint different colors and then yeah like a uh, spring wreath for my front door or a welcome sign so I'm excited to have found the three I did um, every Dollar Tree that I go to I'm looking for more because I would like a few more. Like I said, I would like to be able to glue them together and then make some for gifts for family. But for now, I have three and I'm super duper excited about that. Um, for more Halloween, my store got in these. Now they had different colors, but I just grabbed uh, the navy because part of my thought process was I can just peel that off and put this out in my regular house decor and put like some greenery in it because I love navy blue. Did I mention I love navy blue? But they're poison bottles and they had them in green and orange and this navy and I don't remember the other color. But I did find these two and they're pretty decent size. I was excited to find them and they're 
they're glass they have a little cork and they have the little I mean you don't have to do anything to these there's no DIY involved just stick them out on a table or somewhere and we have wool of bat magic and unfiltered poison so I grabbed these two because I love them and I thought they were fun and like I said this blue one I've got an eye on that for my house for the spring um I'm just trying to pull stuff up out of here guys oh I replaced my old one of these and this actually it's a scrub brush but what it's really good for on my car is the wheel rims to get into the rim of my tire and get the brake dust off after I wash it or go through the car wash or like even here I'll just take a bucket and get in there and scrub it and then go through the car wash to rinse it off because I have my hose put away but this is fantastic for um that but you could also use it to clean anything really heck you know what this would be great for if you take a coffee mug or water bottle or anything like those starbucks metal mugs this would be fantastic to get in there and scrape off all that built up it's coffee i know what it is but this would be fantastic to get that out if you or if you take a thermos or anything this would be great for that so i grabbed one of those um, I was super excited to find finally some gloves and I oh, these are just the vinyl eight pack vinyl gloves I usually wear one when I paint if I'm using like um, varnish or stain or anything oil based I prefer to have a glove or two and I was out and you know with the COVID and all the all of that it was hard to find rubber gloves but I did find a pack I got the vinyl only because they're a little bigger and I can just slip them on and off. So I just put them in my craft room. Um, I grabbed these. Now these are in the crafter square section and they're just little zip bags. I, I'm not sure if I'm a weirdo or not, but when I travel, sometimes I just put my medicine in a bag, each bag, and I can write on it with a Sharpie, Monday, Tuesday, when, you know, whatever day, and I have my whole day's worth of medicine in one bag or I can use them to carry just Tylenol or just Sudafed or if I'm flying or driving, just dream and whatever. But I like to have these little bags and I use them and then I bring them home and reuse them for other trips. Or sometimes if I'm going more than seven days, I'll bring a seven day pill holder and then use these for the extra days. I mean, it doesn't matter, but these are great for that. Also, they're great for crafting. But that's why I bought them. I grabbed a uh, sassy and chic. I love these. They don't last long, but I love the multi-sided, you know, buffer, shaper, groove. And my old one was done. So I just needed a replacement of that. I'm at the age, guys. I needed a magnifying glass for my desk. I know. I told you my vision is poor. Specifically, I bought this when I put on my uh, my um, impress press on nails. I can't read the numbers even with my glasses. So I needed a magnifying glass just to keep on my desk upstairs, mostly for that. But other things too. Tip: Sometimes what I'll do is take a picture with my phone and then enlarge it, but it doesn't work real well with the um, press on nails, the impress nails. So yeah. I feel like Miss Jane on Romper Room. I see Billy Joe. I see Allie. I see Laura. I love it, guys. And it's glass. It's a nice quality magnifying glass. So I grabbed that. Uh, my store has not really got the books too much in yet, but I did find for Sarah. Sarah's my niece, she's a high school English teacher. And this is Mockingbird Songs, My Friendship with Harper Lee by Wayne Flint. And it is a story about his friendship. I mean, I think it just says so. Dr. Wayne Flint, Professor Emeritus, Professor Emeritus in the Department of History at Auburn University is the author of 13 books and one of the most recognized and honored scholars of Southern history, politics, and religion. He has won numerous teaching awards and has been a distinguished university professor for many years. He lives in Alabama. And I thought she would enjoy this book. Um, an incredible 
epistolary portrait of Harper Lee, one of the most beloved authors in the canon of American literature. So it's his friendship and it's a, it's a story about his friendship. Harper Lee wrote To Kill a Mockingbird and then I believe she came out with, or they put, her family published another book. But yeah, so I thought Sarah would enjoy that for her classroom or for herself. And then, okay, we all know that I have a problem with notebooks, but this one is not my fault. Llama stay. It's a llama doing yoga. How was I supposed to leave that at the store? You can't. And then it has like mandalas, but it's just a notebook. Yeah, I don't care. Llama stay. Please, please, Dollar Tree, why you do this to me? I'm trying. I'm trying to be good and not buy all the notebooks, but I mean, come on. You can't be putting cute ones out like that. All right, I found for fall, Thanksgiving, whatever, these jeweled, these are acorns and these are little jeweled pumpkins. I will tell you right now, I saw these at the same thing, probably a bigger package because you're only giving 12 pieces in here. So I think it, they were a larger package for what much more than a dollar at um, Hobby Lobby this, this season because I almost bought them and then I went a different route. But this is just table scatter or glass filler. If you have a clear something, you could throw it on a table, on a tray. My tiered trays are too deep, um, but you could fill jars with these, anything. And they're hard, they're hard plastic and they will last many a year to come. I didn't buy more because I don't have a specific reason for them. Um, but at Thanksgiving, I could probably just put them on the tray behind me or lay them on my mantle or something. But I thought they were fun to have and I wanted to share them with you. Um, I did find the, I always do this, straw man, no, scarecrow, I always do that. The scarecrow, I haven't painted it, I don't know if I will, but I wanted to show you. These are the, um, the ceramics and they came and went so fast at my stores, even the Christmas ones, in and out. I did find some more of the gnomes though, but I won't, I'm not sure if I'm hauling them or not because I've already showed you. Um, housewares, I found this. I love this size roll of uh, um, aluminum foil. It's a little thin, but if you have half sheet pans, which I do, they fit full in your oven, this will cover the half sheet pan and it makes cleanup so easy. So for me, worth a dollar. So I grabbed that for my kitchen. Nothing crazy there. Then, you know I was obsessed with the Scrub Buddy, like those hard sponges? Well, Brillo came out with one, or has one, or maybe it's all the same brand, I don't know. Um, Scrubbing Square, and then Scrub Buddies has a different one that's more like a sponge in shape with the hand ergonomic. So the ones I get at Dollar Tree last me about a week to two. I use them fairly regularly. I cook three meals a day. Um, I bought one at Aldi and I'm still using it and I'm going on like a month and a half. So it just depends on the, you know, the quality. I have some of the other ones, but I wanted to give these a try. I love them, especially because, you know, they get, they do good on my sheet pans and bakeware and they get the stuff off. So I grabbed one of each to try and I feel like I might have another, oh I do. I grabbed two of the Brillo because they're little. So I grabbed two of the Brillo and one of this scrub buddy. So these are definitely not in the shape of the star ones. These are more like a sponge with this ergonomic feel to it. And these are a little softer right out of the gate. Oh look, they hold their shape. So I think there's something different. These are oh, uh, soft in warm water, firm in cold water. I mean, they say the same thing, but they feel different. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I need to clean my house. That's what I need to do. So I grab those. They're great for bathroom cleaning too, in case you didn't know. I'm almost done. Almost, not really, I'm lying. Um, I'm just pulling everything out of the box. So, I don't have a need in my life for washi, but I bought some. I got some of this, which is actually supposed to be like regular tape. It is glitter, scintillant, one roll, glitter won't flake, 
and they're using it as like a gift wrap or tape or a washi I suppose and this is blue glitter and then I had to have this it's succulent for my planner now I learned a fun fact this year if you don't know washi after time loses it sticky so I've got a bunch I need to get rid of and so I bought some because I'm gonna be getting rid of it and then for some DIYs I'm throwing uh, that was just painters tape nothing important nothing to see here nothing to see all right for sarah's bullet journal box i got her they had these big white out brands i know these are like 369 a piece so i grabbed one for her one for me um for my office and her office i'll just throw it in with her bullet journaling stuff that i purchased for her but that was a good deal for a dollar and it's um white out tape if you didn't know what that was and I found some makeup. I don't need makeup, I'm donating this. But I found the BYS bronzing um, palette. And I feel like a lot of people have shown this one already. And if you wear makeup, it's just a bronzing palette. I'm gonna donate it to a girls club type situation that we have here. And then they have Smoky Eye. And I don't know what this brand is. Co as Bozmo, I don't know. It's cruelty free. I'm sorry, I pulled it away too fast. But it is all really dark, smoky eyeshadow. And I thought some girl would have fun with that. So I'm gonna donate that. And then, I'm sorry, NYX brand? Who are you, Dollar Tree? We don't have NYX. I mean, this is not cheap. This is liquid crystal eyeliner. Again, some girl's gonna have fun with that. In the gold color. And then this is e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter. You mix it in with your um, foundation to give you a dewy look. That's what the package says. So it's kind of liquidy. And you just mix it in. It's, it's like wet. And you mix a little bit in with your foundation. It kind of gives you a little bit of a shine. I don't know. I spent 100 years trying not to be shiny. And now I'm buying things to be shiny. And I just think that's rude. Like, somebody needs to tell me which it is. Okay, so backpacking was bored. We didn't have anything to do. I thought, let's bring one of these little games with us. And it's just a magnetic checker game. So on the bottom, you have a checkerboard, and then you have your different colored pieces. So I grabbed checkers for us and four in a row, which is like connect four. They also had chess, which I don't play, and they had tic-tac-toe, which I could just draw that in the dirt. I thought this was fun to take backpacking or camping or if I'm going to be in a hotel and we might have some downtime traveling. These are fun, fun to have. Or throw it in a bag if you're taking your kids on vacation and this is good hotel room stuff. I don't know. I always think of that because when I used to travel with my littles, when they were little and they're not little anymore. I know, it's rude. Okay, one other thing I found, and this is beauty collection i don't know where that is from or if you've seen them at your store but these are makeup removing pads so like the magic eraser or the magic makeup face mat face thing you get two in here and it says hand wash only use cool to lukewarm water use mild soap only do not bleach run thumb and point your finger thoroughly rinse squeeze to extract. So you just wet them and it removes your makeup. And I thought that would be something stocking stuff or fun. And then I grabbed a pink one as well. And you get two, it looks like in here. But I thought for the girls, these would be super fun in their stockings, or I can donate them to the place I'm donating the makeup, you know, makeup removers. And I will tell you my favorite face eraser, face eraser, is the Dollar Tree one, that pink one. I love it. I use it every night, even if I don't have makeup on, to remove moisturizer, sunblock, ooh, blah, blah, blah. I'm just talking, but I love it. Make makeup removers. I found the Halloween rub-offs. This is the one I wanted. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but I found Happy Halloween with the witch's feet. And then I said, which way to the wine? And I found that one. And I just think these are so fun. So I grabbed one of each just to have. I don't I don't think I'll put them on wine glasses, but I'll do some type of DIY with them. 
if I give somebody some wine, maybe I'll put that on there. I don't know, on the package, who knows? Who knows? And then this just came out at my store, but it's the miniature Wicked sign, which you know I'm obsessed with these little wood things. So I grabbed them, they had this in the large size last year. Now you only get three in here, but you got the Wicked and the hat and the witch's hat and oh, I know last year they had this in a big sign, but now you get three little ones. And I love the little signs. Just to put out, like just make a statement. If you are doing a tray or some type of vignette or just throwing it with a couple little items, leaning up against a candle, it makes a statement. So I grabbed those. Then I grabbed these and it's, they're easels and there's actually even chalk back here. It's a Greenbrier brand. There's a piece of chalk. This will, it'll lay out like an easel and this is chalkboard. I'm probably not gonna use it for chalkboard, but I might use it for my Cricut. So I'm giving in to you guys who have asked and I'm doing a Cricut tutorial. I just think I figured out how to do it. I need to film it, but this is going to be great for making little cricket signs if you grab a couple of those. So I grabbed them to try. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. I told you it was a big haul. Um, I was so excited. And tonight I ran to another Dollar Tree and they put out so much fun Christmas stuff. I'm excited because it's not the same old, same old. I mean, some of the stuff is, some of it's the same stuff, and then they've refreshed it, and some of the stuff is just fun. And I'm super excited to bring it to you. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good one. Bye!